Welcome back. This is part two of the random video. This is for initials S ending with the number five. All right. So if this is meant for you, you will come across it. So right now, self-care, you should be drinking some tea, adding herbs to your system. There's a possibility that if you haven't been experiencing dreams yet, you're getting ready to experience some dreams. And when you do, what you're going to do is get you a dream journal or you can literally get you like a piece of paper and just write out whatever it is that you can recall from your dream. And then you're being asked to read up about it. Okay, look it up, see what it means. You receive seventh house. Okay, I write notes. There's more than this, but I just write what stands out to me. And if I need to mention something to you, I will. All right, so this is seventh house. This talks about creating boundaries. I feel like you need to create some boundaries and know that it doesn't make you a bad person. Okay, separate that I got to have attitude right this minute. You know, now, now, now. When we talked about the um, the immature um, behavior compared to the mature behavior in video one, okay? Um, set up some boundaries to separate um, yourself from that and give yourself some time to work through that, okay? Um, it's also a good time to expand your social circle, evaluate your behavior, which goes with basically what uh, we just discussed, Um Evaluate it, okay, so that you can understand what it is that you're actually desiring in relationships. If you don't know about birth charts, also look up what you have in your seventh house, okay, and research. Do some research about what sign is in your seventh house, and that will, you know, put into more detail as far as, like, what you're experiencing right now in your partnerships, with partnerships, relationship issues that you're possibly having, okay? And it's a time where it's probably feeling like really intense to you, okay? Because Saturn is, you know, working in that, okay? Saturn is usually the karma card. So that's why um, you feel that intensity because it feels as if, you know, there's a major event, which is like, you know, a, a heavy energy, a major energy, you know, going on within you, okay? Um, where it's like, no, you have to work through this. When we talked about the boundaries, you got to work through it in order to get through it. Okay. And that's going to take time. So that's why in like in video one, we talked about letting go of, you know, what holds you back, letting go of control. Okay. Letting go of, oh, I got to have this right now. Okay. Saturn is trying to help you go in a whole different direction about it. Okay. And know that you might not feel like you're getting anywhere, but you are moving forward, okay? Now, again, 7th house is highlighted for you. So, it's very important that you look up 7th house, okay? This, you might have Libra, okay? 7th house. And if not, this is the energy in it, okay? I saw a lot of queen energy for you in video 1, okay? So, again, we talked about people are very, they see your value. People are very attracted to you, okay? You, on the other hand, um, are getting that so that you can pick up on that energy um, to understand the boundaries that you need to take, putting your needs first and actually appreciating the beauty of your surroundings, okay? Valuing your surroundings. Now, you could have Taurus um, second house, and if not, um, again, that's just the energy. It just talks about beauty and value. That's the biggest thing for you, value, okay? Now, you receive the Eight of Swords, which talks about enemies, okay? Those will eventually come to a close, okay? You're almost there, but it's still, I would say it's still at least something with two, whether it's two days, two weeks, two months, two years at the most two years okay that you'll be in this energy now it could be shorter than that i'm just giving you 
like you know a little span of that energy okay so this is going to be something that you're going to be working through okay so if you were going through family fights and stuff you know that's going you're going to get through it okay um yeah you have a lot of 10 energy so again a major event a tower you were meant to go through this okay so that all this could come to a close and end all right something is going to come towards you um you're going to hear something or you're possibly going to get a sign about something okay it'll be good news what this is okay yes something is definitely leading you um towards someone or something see how they're headed towards one another okay this could even you know speak about god you know guiding you you know guiding you towards what truly makes you happy okay which is something within you that you have to value it's something that you're possibly not seeing yet because you're you know you're headed down the journey you're on that journey but you're going to see it okay see right here where it says with the railroads a long journey ahead so that's why i said at the most probably like two years but it can be shorter than that again you're going to be receiving guidance remember right here that's confirmation all right you are god wants you to get up and take steps okay you're too comfortable